Wow, wow, wow. Let's, uh, <coughs> let's have ourselves a game. And our opponent is Anne65 from Israel. Way to go. Okay. Let's go up against uh, the eye of the storm. We got to be at our best. I mean, this is this is the holy grail of contests. Literally. It really is. And the key idea here is to not capture here. I mean, I could capture, but the the main principle is to any anyway he's uh, he's going to have to if 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 you don't, but Capturing it blocks up the position and gives him a lot of play. That's the real problem with it. I think so far, this looks okay for black. I'm quite thinking this is pretty decent. Good pressure. Uh, some tactics in the air, but I think it's okay for black. From my point of view, but he's holding it well, and then the tactics will come indeed. Hmm. So maybe we just take this one off at least because we don't mind knight here as much as knight can capture. And maybe we just castle. We have to think how are we gonna what are we gonna do? Where's this bishop gonna go? Is it gonna go here or here? There is a case to be made to bring him here, to be honest. I'm gonna uh follow that intuition a little bit and go with that angle here. Okay, now we do it uh, so. So we got to be prepared to change our plan here because uh, the pawn structure has changed. So let's just reassess the situation. Um, should we take that bishop off? And then dump the knight in here after that? Seems decent as an idea. Although he could push the pawn up too. And I couldn't take then because of bishop sack check winning the queen. So he would have that idea, but that actually just opens up more space for the bishop too. So we shouldn't be too worried about that. Let's just play the knight in there. Knight on f4 has got to be a good move if you can hold it there for even a few seconds. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so we're keeping this weak pawn here, and now, of course, he can. We can do the dance, and I think, I think the dance is worth doing. Meaning, I'm not as concerned about losing this pawn here as I am about gaining that central pawn. I think a central pawn is worth a lot more. That's my comprehension of chess. I've, I've faced this dilemma before in the past, and I've often found that taking the spawn doesn't seem to really help that much. You know, a central pawn matters a lot more here. It's not like I'm going to, he would be able to mate me, you know, it's, it's, the game's not quite like that yet, you know, so, uh, okay, we've got to definitely con con keep this pressure alive, right? So let's keep the pressure alive here. And we're going to be forcing moves, but what's our plan, really? How do we... What do we do? Should we attack this pawn? That seems kind of off the point. 
Do we invest in a mode like this? This doesn't make sense. Maybe we move the king away, away from this check. Uh, that's a good move. Could even try to win a pawn here, you know. Let's see if he if he wants to get greedy. It's playing well, it's playing well. Okay, but uh, maybe we change the angle here. We do have our eye on the, the knight now, but our pawns are a bit soft here at the back. So, I don't know, this bishop is really my key strategic trump here. But the pitfall, the weakness that I have is that my pawns are liable to just crumble. Crumble like a pack of crispy cookies, you know. And the king is also potentially vulnerable, so my position is rather passive in many ways. I just have this nice strategic trump here. I think I'm going to invest some time in... Uh, patching a few holes up. I have to acknowledge that he has played well and the defense, but this is a nasty check here. This is a really, really nasty check. It uh, just popped out to me. The pressure of the attack, of course, forced uh, a move, and then uh, suddenly, out of nowhere, God shows up and parts the rivers for me. So. I must be chosen. <laughs>